Welcome, folks, to day three of mask building. I uh, pulled mine out, still too soft, so I'm going to blow dry it a little bit. Um, actually, I put it in front of the fan, to be honest. Um, and that's my other one that I did for the other class. Um, I'm, I, I got it firm enough, so I pulled my mold out. But it's still a little soft, and this is a good time now to start working that back of the back of your mask. Um, get a little emotional. Use your your fingers. I'm I'm pinching it just like a pinch bowl kind of. Um, you, I pull out my scraper. I start scraping it, and I'm not scared to use that sponge either. You'll see, and I'm a sponge it, scrape it. Use my fingers. I'm just rendering the shape. I'm getting emotional here, folks. And I'm making it so it's going to be real nice. And, it, and this will also help so uh, when it hangs on the wall, it'll be nice and flush on the wall. Look much, much better. And so I'm really spending some time on this. I, this took about a, a good 20, 30 minutes of working this to get mine nice to the way, way I wanted it. And then once I've got it, good. Uh, mine's a little soft still, so I pulled out a blow dryer, blow dried a little bit. If, if it's too soft here... Um, just be careful when you flip it and, and you want to flip it onto something I recommend like a tile. If you don't have a tile and you, you need one, come down to my class. I'll hook you up with one. Uh, also, uh, you could also make one. Uh, you could saran wrap a, a piece of wood, a plywood. You could saran wrap an old book you're not using. Uh, so the moisture won't leach out from one of those, uh, tiles are the best cause the moisture won't leach out from it. And then when I pull out my drawing, I'm just comparing it and figuring out what I'm going to work on first. And I'm just cleaning it up, getting it prepped, getting it ready to start adding things to it. And I'm going to add those sun waves first. Um, yep, I'm going to start making them with my fingers, just sculpting them with my fingers. I want them kind of real natural looking, so I'm going to make them kind of wavy, uh, just like my picture, but 3D. And then I'm going to compare them. I think I got them. I'm going to start sponging them, using my fingers as well to help smooth them out. Uh, just really get emotional here, folks. There's no secret to it. Just get old-fashioned emotional. And then I'm just going to start scoring them on there. I got to get physical here. I got to go different directions. I, I constantly dip my fork in the water and then scoring it. So you're, you're create, basically you're creating the mud. You're, you're creating the slip. All right. And then I'm just going to push those things on there. And look how I use that, that, uh, that rib tool to scrape those sun waves right on there. Bond them on there. Get emotional. Don't be scared. And then I'm just going to do that to all three of them. I'm just really scoring my, uh, my sun waves and then I'm putting them on there. Working them on there, scrape using that, that metal scraper here in a second to really bond them on there. I just kind of angle that scraper and just pulling it towards the mask so it bonds those sun waves on. And then at this point, I'm just going to give it one last cleanup, and I'm not going to do any more today. I'm going to call this quits pretty much. Uh, I want that to neutralize the moisture. And see, the good thing is I have a tile underneath me, so I'm just going to keep working from it with that tile. Like I said, if you, need, if you want to come down and get a tile, you're more than welcome. I'm just going to take a garbage bag after I'm done cleaning it up right there. And uh, I'm not even going to open it up. I'm just going to fold it over like a blanket. And see, being that's a tile, it won't, mess, it won't take the moisture out of the clay. And I come back and work on this next class. And that's, I call that a wrap, folks. And uh, stay tuned.